Hello everyone and welcome to the class. My name is David A. Cox and today I'm going to be talking all about Windows viruses, spyware, malware, and what you can do to not only identify them but also how to prevent them. Um, we had actually taught this class live uh, just a few minutes ago uh, from when I'm recording this right now and we had a little problem with the software during the class and of course one of the issues with being live is if there's an issue you can't really do anything about it so I told everyone in the class don't worry I will re-record the class make sure everything's working fine and we'll put it up there so my apologies for those of you who were able to attend that class but that's why we're doing this now the funny thing is that during the class I uh, opened it up to questions and one of the people uh, asked about something which I had never even thought about covering and I decided to add into this video which was we're going to be talking of course about viruses and spyware and malware um, this person was asking about a Facebook virus and how to identify them and how to remove them so we are going to add that in we weren't intending on doing it but hey you know what it's a relevant topic we like hearing your suggestions what you want to learn about so we're doing it so uh, the first thing I want to tell you about is that Keeping your computer safe is basically a combination of two things. Part of it is, of course, having the right software to prevent them from infecting, but it's also about being a smart user and being able to visually identify what is a scam and what is not a scam. Unfortunately, a lot of the scammers out there are constantly trying to up their game, trying to make it harder to identify what is and what is not a virus. Um, and so I want to really try to cover as much as I possibly can in this class and for those of you who are maybe new to the computer I want to hopefully show you everything you need to know in order to keep your PC safe okay so the first thing I want to talk about is a little bit of uh, terminology definitions okay so viruses spyware malware all of these things are categorized under the very very broad umbrella of malware and basically what it refers to is something that's trying to harm your computer, trying to harm your data or steal your identity, all these different things. We don't need to go through step by step of what each of them actually means. The important thing is just that you know that these are all uh, things that are trying to harm your computer. Now, there are two key pieces of software that I recommend that every Windows user have. Now, the important thing is before I even go into that, the first step is you have to remove what you already have. Okay, so let's say you go out today to uh, a big box store and you buy a new PC. One of the ways that they make those PCs so cheap is that they have deals with companies like Norton and McAfee, which by the way, we are not talking about today. I'm not recommending either of those programs. Um, and what they do is they, they come pre-installed on your computer. So they have a contract and you know they're getting Microsoft's getting a kickback everyone's getting a kickback and that's how they make it so cheap so the first step before you go trying to install new antivirus software is you have to remove what you already have now the computer that I'm on right now is a uh, I'm actually on my Mac but it's running Windows 8 um, I'm gonna talk first about how to remove what you have if you're on any other version of Windows so XP Vista or 7 in these cases, you're going to go to the Start menu. From there, you're going to go into the Control Panel, in which you will see a button that says Add or Remove Programs. You're just going to click on that and go through the different programs, click on them, and hit Remove. Okay, it shouldn't take that long. Now, if you're on Windows 8, um, the software that I'm going to be showing you actually comes pre-installed. And just to make it really confusing, Microsoft renamed the software. So the first piece of software that I would recommend that everyone have is called Microsoft Security Essentials, okay? If you have a Windows 8 computer, it comes pre-installed, but it's under a different name and it's called Windows Defender. So don't worry if you searched your Windows computer and you found that, it's the same thing. They just, for whatever reason, changed the name. I don't know why. So. From here, if you are on either of the other operating systems, there would be a giant button that says download here. To get, uh, by the way, to this page, just go to Google and type in Microsoft Security Essentials. It'll be the first page that pops up. The second piece of software, uh, which I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the software, what pieces they are, and I'm going to show you how to use them. It's very, very simple, though. The second piece of software is called Malware Bytes. Okay? Now this software is $25. If you want to try it for free first, I think it's a, I believe it's a 30-day license they give you. Uh, you can check it out by just clicking here. 
but it is worth it. At least in my opinion, it is worth it. One of the worst viruses that's out there right now, and just to note, today's date is the 13th of January of 2013. The worst virus that I have seen in a very long time uh, first came out about six months ago. And it has different names, but most people are referring to it as simply the FBI warning virus. Let's see if I can actually pull up a, oops, wrong key. Let's see if I can actually pull up a photo of it. Let me just go to Google Images so I can show you FBI warning virus. Okay. There are multiple versions of this virus. Okay. So uh, let's see here trying to find the one that I just dealt with. But basically what it does is it has a screen come up over your screen and it says uh, you have, it, it has been found that there's kitty porn on your computer. No joke, that's what it says. And uh, so we are locking out your computer. And so, um, let's see, is this it right here? Like I said, there are so many different versions of this virus. This is one version of it. Okay, but you can see they've got like the little FBI logo, which anyone can copy. Okay, and it prevents you from really using your computer. It says, uh, click here. I just saw it. Hold on. This is it. Okay, so you've got the little FBI warning screen right here. And it says, we found uh, inappropriate photography containing children, blah, blah, blah. Pay your fine of $200 right now. So the problem is when you pay that, uh, they have your credit card. Uh, you've paid them and they can, of course, charge you in the future. So obviously you don't want to give out that information. The key thing, the reason why I want to bring this up is to talk about two different parts. One is that one of the realities of viruses today is that there are multiple versions of them. Okay, It's sort of like some viruses out there for humans. There's multiple strains. Okay, Malware bites, I most recently have found, does get rid of that virus. Um, it doesn't for everything from other people I've heard that, but right now it seems to be working pretty well. Okay, so let's go over how to use this software. Okay, well, if you're on a Windows 8 machine, all you have to do is pull up the charms menu, go to search, and just type in Defender, and there it is. Okay, I do like that they made it incredibly easy to use. Okay, very few buttons to click on. Of course, you see an update button right here. Before you go scanning your computer, you're going to make sure that the virus definitions are up to date. You can see mine are current. Go back to home and just hit scan now. Now, if this is the very, very first time that you've ever done it, you see here there are other options here. You can do a quick scan, a full scan, or customize if you want to scan certain folders. Um, I would recommend doing full the very first time you run it. Okay? It takes usually, uh, the last time I ran it was a couple hours. Um, for some of you, it might be a little bit faster, okay? So just run that, and that will specifically be looking for viruses, not so much the malware. That's why we have malware bytes, but this is going to be looking for the viruses, okay? And like I said, it's free. Don't worry about it. The next is malware bytes. Very similar, works very easily. Let's launch that right now. Okay, similar thing. You can see here that you can do a quick scan or a full scan. The gentleman who I was just working with who had that FBI virus, uh, it found a total of 116 infected files. So um, what it does, it'll give you an option to quarantine them or delete them. If it gives you an option, you should definitely delete them. Otherwise, you can quarantine them. And that's about all you have to do with malware bytes. It's very, very easy to use. Okay, and just make sure you update it. Click on that little tab and hit check for updates. So let's talk about how you be a smart user to prevent some of this stuff, okay? So I have a couple screenshots that I took of viruses um, and how they can kind of infect your computer. Now, one of the ways you see here uh, that they can try to infect your computer is it looks like it's a system window. So if you look at this, this is an example of someone who got a pop-up window and it says, oh, warning, threat detected, and it found this horrible, horrible virus. And note what it's trying to do. It's trying to get you to click on it, okay? And once you click on it, that's when you, the user, actually went and installed it. So the key thing is, if you see this kind of stuff, hit the X, close it out, 
run your virus you know software just to make sure that it's not already on your computer and you'll be fine okay so that is that let's go back uh, the other one I got here is an example uh, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit about Facebook viruses and uh, what you can do okay this is an example of a Facebook virus okay this one came in uh, to someone via I believe it was email okay and so it says um, you know click here to update your account and basically what it does is it when you click on that it brings you to a fake version of Facebook and you type in your old password and guess what they have your password so now they can steal your identity and yada 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 another one you can do let's go back let's see here's another example uh, email comes in now look at the from here it says Facebook in quotes but the actual email address is just kind of gobbledygook at facebookmail.com which is a fake website okay so it's trying to get you once again to click here and if you click it you're either going to download the virus or give them permission to post on your behalf so with the case of a Facebook virus uh, everyone wants to know how do I remove it so why don't we go over that and then I can talk about a couple other aspects that I think everyone needs to know about viruses so I'm actually show you on my real Facebook account here okay so boom here we go Facebook uh, the first step, if you think you've gotten a virus, is you're going to click on the gear icon at the very top right. From here, you're going to go down to Privacy Settings. From here, at the very bottom left, well, towards the left, it says Apps. Click there. Now, in this list, and watch out for at the bottom where it says Show All. Okay, you want to make sure you do see all of them. It's going to show you all the different applications that have... Uh, access to your data so for example in the case of Yelp that's legitimate Yelp is a you know giant social network it has to do more than anything with restaurant reviews so I can write reviews while I'm at a restaurant and post them and yada yada so things like that are fine now if you look in this list and you see things that you have no idea what they are if you don't know what it is just remove it okay worst case you can always install it again later so to remove it all you have to do is at the very right hand side there's a little X click remove you're done easy 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 and really go through that list of apps if you can remember if you use Facebook try to do this once every couple months okay now the way you usually get a Facebook virus is it will infect one of your friends and post on their behalf now typically and I have to speak generally because they're always changing they're always getting smarter Typically, the postings have a sexual nature. So, for example, it might say, um, these are ones I have actually seen. It says, like, father walked in on his daughter, check out what he saw here, and it looks like it's a video. So if you click, guess what? It just installed itself in your profile, and now it's going to try to send itself to all of your friends. Another example of one that I just saw yesterday was it said, uh, Justin Bieber making out with Selena Gomez. Click here to see the photos you know the naughty photos if you click on it you're giving it permission you're installing it into your computer so really what it comes down to is and I think someone needs to do a, a campaign called think before you click okay if it's trying to get you to click then just think about what can happen okay don't you don't have to investigate everything okay now another type of virus um, that you can get on your computer is possibly one of the most devious and it's called a Trojan horse now a Trojan horse will come in by email and usually what will happen is it will appear to be from someone you know okay I'm gonna give you a really easy way to identify it so uh, I've gotten a million of them just because I work with so many people so many people have my email address in their contacts list inevitably I get a couple a week at this point so what will happen is it'll, the email will come in and it will say something something similar to it might be uh, hey here are the photos from that party uh, how could you do that or it might say you know I, I shot a video of how wild you were last night check it out here okay so in either case it's trying to get you to click okay that's they always do that they always try to get you to click but 
The, the worst part though is it does look like it's from someone you know. So here's the trick. If you get an email in from someone you know and they do not sign their name at the bottom of the email, delete it. I don't care what it says, delete it. Then what you do is instead of hitting reply, you create a new message to them because it could be just posing as them. So you write, you write a new message to them and say, hey, I got in a really suspicious email from you. I think your computer could have a virus. Can you please confirm if you actually sent that message to me? And if you want, you can, if you want, you can copy and paste it. Just tell them don't click on the link You know, if they in fact didn't. Uh, if they didn't send it to you, tell them they need to get their computer cleaned out because they probably have something. And that's where these two programs will pretty much do the trick. Malwarebytes, Microsoft Security Essentials. Okay? Um, but more than anything, the, the key thing I just really want to emphasize, if it's trying to get you to click, think before you actually do. Okay? Very often they are provocative. They are sexual. Okay? It's going to try to shock you. Okay? Um, sometimes on Facebook you'll see viruses where it says, you know, video of woman getting killed by car, hit by car. Okay? Very provocative. Don't click on it okay even if it's from some someone you know now before we end this video one of the things I want to do is I want to reach out to all of you and say that if you have a problem if you run into questions we like to try to make ourselves as accessible to all of you as possible after all you are paying for this service so we have a small business called the Mac Guru and uh, there's an individual at our business his name is Sean and Sean is amazing with PCs he actually used to work for one of the major publishing companies as one of their head techs so if you want to give a call to Sean if you need help with this kind of a thing uh, we have a service called instant guru where we can take over your computer and help fix diagnose whatever the issue is um, if you want to give Sean a call his number is 774-722-8434 and uh, you're gonna hit op there's gonna be a phone menu and you're gonna hit option two now that could call another employee but uh, just ask for Sean he's kind of the genius at this stuff so I hope you all learned a lot from this video I hope you'll share it with your friends for those who are you know if they haven't signed up for PC classes online tell them hey this is the kind of stuff we go over trying to uh, keep all of our users safe and happy um, and uh, we'll see you all next time and again, my apologies for, to those of you who did try to take this class live and were not able to. You all have a wonderful day. My name is David A. Cox, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.